Hi all, this is Anjali and in this video I will be explaining you how to solve question number 7 in your board exam for class 12 IP. So as we know that question 7 is from IT applications. Mein se hota hai. Usually we treat it easy treat and that's why we think the importance of it but it's okay, now it's the last day, the exam is so now it's the time of the So we have to do this. And in this case, you have a 5 mark question aata hai. and it's very easy to score these 5 marks. So it's very easy but 5 marks value you work at it. I don't have 5 marks in any situation. For that, I'm just explaining you how to go for this IT application question. So as you can see this paper, here you have usually 3 parts. In which this 2 mark question always comes like this. And these two are the IT application front end, back end. Pe depend karte like this question, the first question is what is the advantage of using IT applications over the manual operations? So if you read this question, so these are not technical questions, nahi, they are general knowledge questions. Normal thing is that IT applications ka manual operations pe kya advantage hai? One, it saves time, it is faster, it's much faster in comparison to manual operations. Second advantage is that it's accurate. The chances of errors are very less in comparison to manual operations. So, for one mark, you can just write these two advantages. That's it. That's the answer for this question. Presentation is good for your answer. Ki. So, that you can easily understand and the important word you need to underline. Karna hai. Pencil se ya black pen. Se. Then question B says, give one example each of input values where radio button and checkbox should be used for efficiency in IT application. Again, very easy question. Radio buttons you use where you have multiple options. Multiple options hoti hai, and एक select करना होता है उसमें से and check boxes हम use करते हैं जहाँ पे multiple options होती हैं और multiple select भी हो सकती हैं अपने answer को अच्छे से present करने के लिए आप radio buttons बना के दिखाओ draw करके circular buttons check boxes को draw करके दिखाओ that's a square button a tick mark comes when it is selected example gender if I have to input gender I should take radio buttons for that because one of the gender can be selected check box के लिए आप hobbies ले सकते हो or uh, languages spoken le sakte that we have four five options for languages and you have to take the one which you speak so check boxes could be there for that so aap kuch bhi do examples leke se explain kar sakte then question c jo hai isme pucha hai vijayan works for the customs department he wishes to create controls on a form for the following functions choose appropriate controls from text box label option button check box list box comma box command button and write in the third column so to write it in the third column, that means this. I mean, you have to make this table on the answer sheet. You have to write this in the same way. And you have to write the last name or first name. Enter the text box. So the answer is text box. Gender, we have discussed the radio button should be used for the gender. If you have options, you have to write the radio button. So you don't need to be confused. Radio button and option button is one thing. So option button and radio button means the same. So you'll write here option button. Then choose city from a list of cities. Cities can be a lot more than that. We have to select one from it. So we will obviously not make option button. When we select many options, we have to select one from it. So combo box is used. So you'll write here combo box. And for the button to submit, we have to use command button. So this question is very easy. Every year it comes to two marks. You have to tell us which control we use in the future. किस वैल्यू को इनपुट करने के लिए और ये जो ऊपर वाले दो हैं इसमें इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस आते हैं या आ जाता है कि दो ई लर्निंग की साइट्स के नाम बताओ या ई लर्निंग की क्या बेनिफिट्स हैं ई गवर्नेंस के ई कमर्स के एंड देन एक क्वेश्चन आता है फ्रंट एंड और बैक एंड में क्या डिफरेंस होता है सो फ्रंट एंड इज द वन वेयर वी डिजाइन द स्क्रीन्स लाइक जावा हो गया एच हो गया जहां पे आप यूजर्स इंटरेक्ट करने वाली स्क्रीन्स डिजाइन करते हो और बैक एंड जहां पे डेटा बेस स्टोर होता है जैसे माई एस क्यू या कुछ भी ऐसे so, this was the paper of 2012. Let's take 2013 sample paper here. And I have to see question number 7. So, let's go to question number 7. Okay. Paper, I think it's good to see the whole paper. But I have solutions for these already uploaded and I have given the links for all these papers. जो लिंक मैंने अपनी ड्राइव का दिया हुआ है उसमें आपके पास ये सारे पेपर्स हैं एंड उनके सॉल्यूशंस भी हैं। फिलहाल हम कर रहे हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन डिस्कस एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेन ये रहा। 
ओके लाइक आई टोल्ड यू फ्रंट एंड बैक एंड पूछ सकते हैं तो ये पूछा हुआ है व्हाट इज बैक एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स फंक्शन सो बैक एंड इज द प्लेस वेयर योर डेटाबेस इज स्टोर्ड एंड फंक्शंस क्या है टू स्टोर द डेटा टू मैनेज द डेटा एग्जांपल हो गया माय एसक्यूएल हाउ हैज आवर सोसाइटी बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम ई-कॉमर्स मेंशन इन टू पॉइंट्स सो ई-कॉमर्स इज बाइंग एंड सेलिंग थिंग्स ऑनलाइन ट्रांसफरिंग फंड्स ऑनलाइन दैट ऑल कम्स अंडर ई-कॉमर्स हाउ आवर सोसाइटी हैज बेनिफिटेड वन वी गेट ग्रेट डिस्काउंट्स because people don't need uh, showrooms to sell their stuff second we have a huge variety from where we can pick up the stuff and transferring funds from one person to another has become much easy we don't have to go to banks and stand in lines so those could be the benefits then c hamesha yahi hota hai what controls would you suggest for the following types of input to display some information we use a label aapko sirf information dikhani hai user usme changes nahi kar sakta so we'll take a label for that पासवर्ड के लिए पासवर्ड फील्ड होता है टू चूज मोर देन वन सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम अ सेट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स, चेक बॉक्सेस, मल्टीपल सब्जेक्ट्स है चूज भी मल्टीपल कर सकते हैं तो चेक बॉक्स यूज होगा एंड देन टू एंटर मल्टी लाइन टेक्स्ट वी यूज टेक्स्ट एरिया जब एक से ज्यादा लाइन चाहिए हो टेक्स्ट की तो जो यूज होता है उसे हम टेक्स्ट एरिया कहते हैं सो दैट्स टेक्स्ट एरिया ओके देन लेट्स गो फॉर टू थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन Okay, so here we have seventh question for 2014's paper. Write two major projects of e-governance in India. Two major projects. The first one is passport seva because you can uh, fill the form for passport online and then you directly get an appointment and get your passport in a few days from there. One major thing. Second is paying your electricity bills online. So that is another thing of e-governance. Then income tax. So all these are major projects which are run by e-governance in India. Then how is e-learning beneficial to students? E-learning is what you are doing right now. That is also e-learning. You are watching my videos and learning the stuff. So that's an example of e-learning. And uh, if you are getting some benefits, then it is very easy for you. आप आराम से आंसर कर सकते हो कि आपको यहाँ से पढ़कर क्या benefits मिल रहे हैं. Benefits क्या मिल रहे हैं कि एक distant education resources आपके पास में नहीं है. मैं कहीं हूँ, आप कहीं और हैं. But still, मैं आप तक information knowledge provide कर पा रही हूँ और आप उसको ले पा रहे हो. Because of e-learning, so e-learning means कि हम distant location से भी knowledge gain कर सकते हैं. So that is access to remote information. That's one benefit. Second, it's available 24/7. मैं जब free हूँ, मैंने video बनाई, मैंने upload कर दी. आप जब free हो, आपने वो video देख ली. कोई time restriction नहीं है. It's not कि मुझे भी उसी time पे available होना है और आपको भी उसी time पे available होना है for learning from me. I'm just putting the stuff. You're watching it at your ease. So material is available 24 by 7 any time you feel like you can see and you can repeat it ek baar dekh ke nahi samajh aaya aap dobara se dekh sakte ho and usko aur better tarike se understand kar sakte ho so advantages hai ki kabhi bhi information available hai distant locations se available hai and any time of the day we can go for it so those are the benefits of e learning to students and uh, most of the cases may it's free of cost as well so that is one of the benefits which you can write then is the typical question where you have to tell which is used for what so ashok works for so and so main thing hai ki room type ke liye kya chahiye room type aap ek hi tarah ka room select karoge ya deluxe hoga ya normal hoga ya semi deluxe hoga to radio buttons can be used for that customer name ke liye text field arrival date ke liye bhi text field hona chahiye and to book a room that's a spelling mistake hai to book a room we need a command button jab button pe click karenge to room book ho jana chahiye so those are the controls over there then yeah, this is 2015's paper question number 7 for 5 marks here it is ab dekh rahe ho har saal same tarah ka question aata hai kabhi pattern change hi nahi hota right one advantage and one disadvantage of e learning advantage humne abhi discuss ki डिसएडवांटेज है पर्सनल इंटरेक्शन लाइक अभी मैं एक्सप्लेन कर रही हूँ आपके दिमाग में एक डाउट आ रहा है एंड यू वांट टू आस्क मी दैट यू कांट यू कैन राइट दैट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन हेलो एंड जब मैं वो कमेंट पढ़ूंगी मैं आपको उसका आंसर करूंगी बट राइट एट दैट मोमेंट यू कांट इंटरेक्ट विद द पर्सन सो दैट्स वन डिसएडवांटेज दैट ऑन द स्पॉट इंटरेक्शन इज नॉट देयर देन व्हाट प्रिकॉशन मस्ट बी टेकन विद रिगार्ड टू मेकिंग पेमेंट्स व्हाइल शॉपिंग ऑनलाइन एवरीवन नोज अगर आप ऑनलाइन कुछ भी पे करते हो आपका फ्लिपकार्ट है अमेजोन है कहीं भी आप अपनी कार्ड डिटेल्स बहुत केयरफुली 